With the 30th anniversary this week of the 1992 L.A. riots, Fox 11 is taking a look back at the seeds of unrest even before the beating of Rodney King. There's a name that is also synonymous with that uprising. That's Latasha Harlins. Our Christine Devine has her story. To understand the L.A. riots of 1992 is to know its backstory. I just want to say, you know, can we, can we all get along? Can we, can we get along? Video of the 1991 beating of Rodney King by LAPD officers is infamous. But two weeks after this, there was a case that would also shake South Central LA to its core. It was like Emmett Till. Everybody just ready to go to war. Everybody ready to fight. Latasha Harlins was 15 when she was shot and killed by a liquor store owner, a Korean immigrant who accused the teen of trying to steal a bottle of orange juice. We grew up together. We were we only four months apart. So we grew up together in the same house all the way from birth till the day she passed away. So this is my sister. Shanice Harlins Kilgore is Latasha's younger cousin. You lived how far from this market? Oh, roughly a half a block away. And this would be normal to come here? Normal to come here. Here is now a numero uno market, but back in 1991 and Figueroa and 91st, it was Empire Liquor. I can still see her right there where she dropped that in the front of the camera, you know, from the video. So, no, I don't go in there. Security video captured a scuffle between clerk and customer. Soon Ja Du shot the teen in the back of the head, killing her. Witnesses said Harlan's had cash in her hand. To die with $2 in your hand, that lets you know that she was not that person that the media or whomever say so is she, what she is. Du was convicted of voluntary manslaughter, but given probation. Then came April 29th, 1992. The not guilty verdicts in the beating of Rodney King. Four LAPD officers acquitted. Rioters took to the streets. And after years of cultural tensions, half the businesses burned or looted. 2,000 of them were Korean owned. This 15-year-old child who got her brains shot and blown out over a dispute over a bottle of orange juice was the precursor to the civil unrest in 92 after the jurors found the LAPD cops not guilty for beating Rodney King. That was activist Najee Ali last year. We will never forget Latasha Harlins. It was at a playground dedication and a mural of Latasha Harlins at Algin Sutton Recreation Center. It was really, uh, really beautiful. There's a whole generation that may not know the story of Latasha Harlins, but there is a movie in the works, and last year a Netflix documentary got an Oscar nomination. You'd come to this park as a child? Every day. Every day. Every day. So it means what to have that artwork? Priceless. Lots of emotion. The Rodney King beating. I was a young anchor during this era, reporting live during the 1992 civil unrest. This picture ending up in a university textbook to the Harlan's family, documenting history matters. Just so that this generation can know about what happened 30 years ago, because they don't know. If you ask a 18-year-old, 19-year-old, it's not taught in school, it's not taught in their household, or it's just, it needs to be relevant right now. That was Christine Devine reporting.